I talk a lot on my YouTube channel about cyber criminals hacking into your applications. But how do they get your passwords in the first place? Well, there's as many as nine different ways. And yes, you've guessed it. You're gonna learn about them all in today's video. But before I start, a quick introduction. My name is Jonathan Edwards. I'm a business IT specialist from Yorkshire in the UK. My IT company helps businesses with their IT support and the cyber security. We often hear stories about hackers who have hacked into people's online applications. But when we talk about hacking into online applications, what we're really saying is the hacker has somehow managed to get hold of their password, the keys to your door. But how has that hacker got hold of the password? Do you remember giving it to them? Well, no, hackers can get hold of passwords in as many as nine different ways. So without further ado, let's talk about all those different ways. And I'll also give you some tips on how you can reduce your risk. So let's go. The first way that hackers get hold of your passwords is by social engineering, things like phishing attacks. Now, I talk a lot about this on my YouTube channel. For example, a hacker might send you an email. It might look like it's come from Microsoft 365. It might say something like, your password's expired. Click here to reset your password. When you click on that link, it'll take you to a bogus website. And of course, it asks you for your old password. And you type it in without knowing. And bang, the hacker has got hold of your Microsoft 365 password. The second most common way that a hacker will get hold of your password is by buying it. This usually happens after a large data breach. For example, in 2021, LinkedIn was the victim of a huge data breach where 700 million usernames and passwords were stolen and put for sale on the dark web. People could go onto the dark web and buy your username and password. And then if your password health isn't very good, say if you use the same password on all your applications, then the hacker has the keys to your digital kingdom. Easy peasy. The third most common way that a hacker might get hold of your password is by a method called password spraying. So a hacker will use a commonly used password like 123456. Yeah, it's true, that is a commonly used password. They'll then go to an application and they will spray that password using different usernames. So they'll try lots of different usernames and then they'll put the password as 123456 in the hope that eventually they'll find someone who uses that password. And guess what, it'll happen quite quickly. The fourth most common way that a hacker will get hold of your password is by something called brute force attacks. Now brute force attacks is similar to password spraying but with a key difference. Instead of using the same password with lots of different user accounts, they'll use different passwords with one user account. So they might get hold of your Microsoft 365 email address and then they'll use a brute force attack and they will just try lots and lots of different passwords in the hope that you've used a commonly used one. So password spraying and brute force attacks are very similar. The fifth way that someone might get hold of your password is by something called shoulder surfing. I know it sounds like a lot of fun. You've got to remember that it's not always cyber criminals in faraway countries who might want your password. It might be someone within your business. And they might watch over your shoulder when you're typing in your password and then they've got access to your applications. The sixth most common way that people might get hold of your passwords is by reading it on a post-it note which is stuck to your monitor. Enough said. The seventh most common way that a cyber criminal might get hold of your password is by using something called keylogging software. Now, as the name suggests, keylogging software is where your keystrokes are being monitored. So you're logging into your application, you put in your password, and your keystrokes are going back to the cyber criminal. How does keylogging software get installed on your computer? Well, it could be from a phishing attack. You might get a link, you might click on that link, and behind the scenes, without you knowing, that keylogging software is getting installed on your computer. Another way that cyber criminals might get hold of your passwords is by discovering the password hash. What's a password hash? Nothing to do with hash browns. When we use applications such as Microsoft 365, Dropbox, LinkedIn, we are relying on that software provider storing our password in a secure fashion. 
We want these websites not to store passwords in a form that they can be easily read when they're transmitted. We want it all to be gobbledygook, like a maths equation, all scrambled up. And when this happens, it's called a password hash. So when we log into our application, there'll be a little maths equation happening behind the scenes. And if it matches our password, then it will let us in. The only problem with this is what if someone discovers the password hash? Then they, clever people, can get hold of your passwords. And the ninth way that people can get hold of your passwords, and perhaps the most boring way, is they can simply guess. They might know you, they might know that your son is called William, they might know that your pet bulldog is called Phyllis. And if they do, they can try those passwords and hopefully they'll be successful. Now all of these ways that people can get hold of your passwords can be easily sorted out. Firstly, use nice complex passwords that are hard to guess. Maybe store these in a password manager. And on all your applications, use two-factor authentication. And then none of these things will happen to you. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I look forward to hearing from you again soon.